I was speaking with a friend just recently, and she was talking about how frustrating internet advice was about motivation and just getting disciplined. Because you have the two camps where you have people who are to grind it out, get things done, just it doesn't matter if you like it, just get it done. You know, I'm channeling my inner like Jersey, Brooklyn, New York, Alex. And on the other side, you have the just almost new agey, manifesty, just do what you're passionate about and do what excites you. In this video, I wanna share a simple framework I think you can use if you're struggling to find motivation and inspiration every day, but you just really want to move forward in your life. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now I've included a link below this video, which is for a free goal setting worksheet. If you'd like to plan out how to have the best year ever of your life, check out the link below this video and download that pronto. So let's talk about inspiration for a sec. Because you think when I wake up in the morning, I want to shower and I want to brush my teeth and I want to wear this shirt. I mean, frankly, I would much rather shoot all my videos with my shirt off and probably my pants off too. But we obviously know that's going to cause some problems and I'll probably ruin my reputation in about two weeks. So there are some things in life you just have to do, right? You have to brush your teeth. Well, you don't have to, but you probably should just for the sake of everybody else. And you probably should shower. I mean, I live on the West Coast, California. A lot of people don't, I think. But you should do a lot of things. You have to do some things. And there's a third bucket of things you really want to do. What do you do to reconcile all these things when you don't feel inspired? Maybe you've gone through a phase where you were really inspired. You were jacked up to get things done. But for whatever reason, you haven't felt that way in a long time. I want to share two stories here that can help you. When you look at some of the projects I had done in the last six years of my life. One of them was this YouTube channel. And at the beginning, you know, with a lot of my videos, I was just shooting this inspired or excited content. I basically would not shoot a video unless it was fun to do. And it was exciting. And guess what? That actually worked out really, really well. Because 350 or whatever, you know, however many some odd subscribers here, that happened without me ever tracking it. Without me ever trying it. Without me ever being like, I would love to get 100,000 subscribers, I had no goal at all. It was, I just want to do something that's different and fun. Maybe this will go somewhere and maybe it won't. And what happened though, is after you shoot 100 videos, a lot of things lose their luster. You know, it's a lot like love for a lot of people. You can be so in love with someone now and then in six years, you're Notice yourself, you know, your attention's kind of wandering. You're, you're eyeing that cute girl or that guy walking by in the coffee shop. And you're wondering, what if they talked to me? And what if they paid attention to me? And what if they flirted with me? Damn, that's been a long time. And there are these natural undulations in life where something that really excited you, now a few years later, doesn't excite you at all. And you have to trust that feeling. But... When it comes to my YouTube channel, what happened with the progression was that eventually it got to the point where a lot of the time it wasn't that exciting. And so it was one of those things where I said, you know what, on Monday morning, I'm going to shoot two videos no matter how I feel. And I'm going to do my best to just pick content that excites me that could really, really help other people. Now, that was an example of mixed inspiration with grit and willpower, you know, a lot of the time, I don't want to shoot the videos. But when I'm here on camera, when I'm talking, and when I get feedback from people, then I feel a bit more energized. So there are some things in your life that you just have to push. But at the beginning, you just need to push it, and then it has momentum. But I want to talk about another project I worked on here. The second project was my book, Master the Day. And actually, the other one, Milk the Pigeon. I was at the same kind of junction, a crossroads in my business where I was doing a lot of the same things every day. And after like two years, I was getting so tired of what I was doing every single day. So even though there was some degree of motivation or inspiration there at the beginning, it was never my passion. I was like, you know what? I need to just do something that really does excite me. So writing this book became one of those things where I had that excited idea. I was like, I need to write this book for my coaching clients just so I can give something to people that's a hard, concrete thing. And every day I was really drawn and really excited to work on it for an hour in the morning. You know, I would find a new coffee shop, even for Milk the Pigeon. I flew to Spain for a month in July. It was 
going all around Andalusia, writing, you know, on La Rambla or in a little cafe or in Andalusia where Coelho's book, The Alchemist, took place. And that was one of those examples of something amazing that comes out of it where you're just doing the thing that excites you the most to do. And it really made me realize that on everything you want to do in your life, there's always going to be a spectrum. There's always going to be the spectrum between doing the really hard thing you don't want to do and doing the really exciting thing you really want to do. The crazy thing is both can work. So if I were you and you're feeling uninspired or unmotivated, try each strategy for just a week. Try what happens if you do 80% of your time, you're only doing what is the most exciting. Try it. Try looking for that emotional resonance. Like, I'm so excited to do this. It's the first thing I want to do every day. And then try for something else, whether it is your fitness goals, whether it is that same project, whether it is school or work or whatever. Try just saying, I'm just going to do one hard thing for one hour every single day. And then let me see how I feel after a week. Because sometimes in life, things all just flow. And sometimes in life, it's pushing boulders uphill. And I think you need to have both to be a really effective human being that both feels well and also sees continual progress in your life. All right, you guys, before you go, I want you to comment below and let me know for you, which of these two strategies seems to be more effective holistically in your life, all right? Comment down there below. And again, I have two related videos over here right for you.